Alright, welcome back to another episode of Life is Strange True Colors. This is going to be number... I think this is number six. I think I didn't count off which one of the episodes I was supposed to actually record that. But hey, it is what it is. So, we're going to continue on. Now, I literally just realized. So, in order to literally go and grab hit any type of fear from Mac, I have to literally go and talk to Riley. Which was right here. They showed it at the beginning. I was a dumbass. I didn't even realize that until now. I was I was sitting there like, what should I do? Interestingly enough, hey, I couldn't figure that out. Alex. Hey. Um Eleanor. First. You and Eleanor seem close. She's taken care of me ever since I was little. I never really knew my mom, but she's always been there for me. What does she think about you going away to school? She's thrilled. <laughs> I think she just wants me to end up happy. That's uh, uh, okay. I guess the question is, will she be all right? Will she be all right without you? She's a tough cookie, but I do worry about her sometimes. She's getting older. One day I'll have to take care of her. I know having you work with her in the shop has meant the world. Yeah. To both of us. Yes, I should mention Gabe. I know you and Gabe were close. How are you doing? I miss him so much. He was like an older brother to me. I'm glad you had him. He was a really good guy, Alex. This is... That fight Mac had with Gabe over your secret meetings. They were about you applying to college, right? Yeah. Ever since the first time Mac lost his shit in front of him, Gabe and Charlotte had tried to get me to end things with him. And after all this, I can see that they were right. <sighs> Do you think this man ignored his call? Do you think he could have ignored Gabe's call? I mean, do you think he's capable of that? I don't want to believe that, but... Sorry, I'm really not ready to talk about it. my help. Are you sure? Sometimes talking about it can help you sort it all out. I'm just not there yet. I gotta run. There's some stuff I need to do. Okay. I don't want to push Riley. But I need to know more about Mac. How do I get her to open up? Um, and now I gotta get her to open up. Fuck! The next day. I am an idiot. The biggest of idiots. So. I'm just now realizing you can press L2. Uh, wait. Yeah, you can press L2. If he's innocent, why is he acting like this? Acting like what? Maybe I can get her to tell me. Do you want to talk about Mac? <sighs> he is acting like 
and so yeah. weird. I get it. It's just... If he didn't do anything wrong, why is he acting like he has something to hide? He asked me to leave Haven with him. What? What? Right after the wake. He wouldn't tell me why. But he just looked so guilty. I told him no, and that we were done. And now... I'm scared he did something horrible. <sighs> Riley. Thank you for telling me. You deserve the truth. Thank you, Riley. I really appreciate it. I gotta run. There's some stuff I need to do. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Time to confront Mac. We'll talk soon? Yep. Yeah. Whenever you want. Alright. Mac trying to skip town is sketchy as shit. I bet I could use that to stoke his fear. I knew he was lying from the beginning. I should have went for it. Because some he wouldn't do that unless he I had some fears. I should make sure there's nothing else I want to do before I confront Mac. Uh, nothing else, really. It should be good. It should be good. All right, here goes nothing. Everyone's out to get me. Alex, Ryan... Even Riley. Fuck! Good. He's scared. Time to find out the truth. What Riley told me might do it. But I should make sure there isn't anything I still want to do around town first. I, th I think I covered everything. Because I went to go see stuff and I finished everything else. So, yeah. Okay, let's do this. Your ex-girlfriend told me about your plans to skip town. That's not something innocent people do. Look, I didn't... It's not... I didn't do anything. <sighs> Fuck off! <sighs> Leave me alone! I see what is I see it Fuck I'll deal with Mac when I get to him For now I need to learn everything I can Typhon's always watching they run this whole town. Huh. Well, that doesn't sound good. Mac feels like everyone's staring at him. That's about as fact as it can get. Everyone thinks I killed him. They all hate me. It wouldn't seem right for him to act like this. Especially considering. Really? It should have been you instead. Alex? Shit. Wait, what the hell? No. Yes. What the hell? There are people out there. I told you to call it off. Somebody else. I saw the way they looked at me at the wake. They all think I let him die. I know 
why you're lying. Typhon's forcing you to deny the call. What the fuck? <sighs> Don't take the fall, dude. I know you tried to stop it. They fucked up, not you. Stop lying for them! You don't get it. This wasn't some accident. I told them you were down there, and they detonated anyway. On purpose? Why? I don't know. I swear. And then I get a message telling me to deny there was ever a call. You gotta believe me. Gabe and I, we didn't get along, but I, I didn't want him dead. And now, now Typhon's watching me. My girlfriend, she, she thinks I'm a murderer. My neighbors all hate me. I mean, what, what, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I think I can calm him down. But does he deserve it? First of all, calm him down. All right, Mac. Come on. You gotta calm down, okay? Dude, stay with me. I know what it's like to be doubted. To have everyone think the worst of you. But the truth will come out. I'll make sure of it. But Typhon... If Typhon comes after you, they're gonna have to get through me too, okay? Thanks. I actually feel a little better. <laughs> yeah, well... You learn a thing or two hanging out with shrinks your whole life. <laughs> so, what are you gonna do now? Don't leave Haven. I'm gonna get to the truth. Hey. Yeah, it's... Can we talk? Where are you? Okay. Ryan? You were right. About Typhon, about Mac. Alex. Mac got the call. How do you know that? He got the call and he lied about it. Doesn't matter. Someone is putting pressure on him to keep quiet. Someone from the mine, and... It doesn't matter! I keep coming here... ...and playing it back... ...but it always ends the same. Ryan... He's dead. He's really dead, Alex.
It was my fault. My job is to keep people safe. And I failed. This wasn't your fault. You did everything right. Typhon took him away from us. Not you. She's wrong. I let her cross that log. I put Gabe in harm's way. I'm not a hero. I'm a coward. Worse than worthless. How could you have known? You've got to stop torturing yourself. You did everything you could have. It doesn't matter. Gabe's dead because of me. Gabe, I'm so sorry. Trust me, Gabe would have. Gabe would have forgave you. Gabe loved you, Ryan. He would forgive you. You know that. You're not alone. No, no, he chases a guy in a banana suit. <laughs> that guy jumps <laughs> off the cliff and into the pool. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. This is a Mexican restaurant? Eh, nominally. <laughs> <laughs> the food is, uh, well, terrible. But it's Gabe's favorite place. <laughs> I tell you, he's the oldest 12-year-old I know. Can I ask you something? Of course. You came up here to tell me that I was right about Mac. About him getting the call. How did you know? Should I tell him? Uh, should I tell him? There's something you should know about me. And it's going to be easier to show you than to explain it. Pretty much, yeah. This is going to seem sort of weird at first, then really weird. Do you trust me? Um, think about something scary. Okay. Think of something that just scares the shit out of you. Really focus until you feel it. Mac, Typhon, all of it. You're afraid you won't know how to handle it without Gabe. Never knew anyone so good at getting into and out of trouble. <laughs> oh, man, this one time. Whatever it is you're thinking about right now, don't stop, okay? 
keep going. <laughs> what emotion is this? <laughs> Deep, you think? Deeper than that. The Royal Canadian <laughs> Mounted Police can spot a goose grave at a hundred paces. <laughs> the Mounties? <laughs> oh, come on, man! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How long were you gonna let me dig? <laughs> I'm gonna stop you. <laughs> oh! I'm crying. Oh, what the hell is that? <laughs> Gabe, Goose. I see it. It'll move. It's not moving. It'll <laughs> move. Gabe! <laughs> <laughs> you said we'll move and it wouldn't. That's a lot of blood, huh? Gabe, this is serious. <laughs> Killing a Canadian goose is a violation of international law. Shut up. It is not. They're Canadian geese, Gabe. Property of the crown. The the crown of... Property of the crown, <laughs> Gabe. What do we do? <laughs> so, <laughs> did you finish burying the goose or not? Okay, also, property of the crown. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, they are technically protected under the Migratory Bird Treaty Act. <laughs> <laughs> How? Uh, I'm basically some kind of freak. There's just something wrong with the way I process other people's emotions. I see these auras, I guess. And sometimes, if somebody's feeling something big, it sort of infects me. And I start feeling it too. And that's what you just did with... with me? Yeah, pretty much. There's nothing wrong with you. You're a literal wizard. It's... it's only ever been the bad emotions before. But that... that was pure joy. Who else knows? He uh, did. But now I guess just you. And that's how I know Max terrified of Typhon. He reported Gabe's call and they ignored it. Now they're putting pressure on him to toe the line. Okay, but why? That's something I want to know. know yet. Someone made the decision to let the blast go off. Seems like finding out who would be a good start. Yeah. So you're going after Typhon? 
At this point, trust who I got. You'll need help. You don't have to. I'm not. I really don't. You're stuck with me now. You're stuck with me now. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Okay then. Team up. Do the buddy cop thing. <laughs> You're a loose cannon, Chen, but you get results. <laughs> Ah, oh, man. We can't... Oh, yeah, we also forgot to tell Ryan not to say anything. I meant to say that. Oh, that hurt. Record traits. Or traitors. Fuck. <laughs> Speak. This one's for you, Gabe. I miss you. I didn't speak this morning. I couldn't. Hearing everyone talk about him, about the life he had here with all of you, I lost the chance to have that. But even though I only had one day with him, he changed my life. I said, I didn't know if I belonged here. He told me that home isn't something you find. It's something you build. What's up with Diane? Does anyone notice how weird this sounds? Or... Something doesn't seem right with Diane. Am I the only person who's seeing this or no? I didn't tell... Eleanor, which, to be quite honest, it was a good option. Oh, I should have told her to didn't take the money. I was I was wondering if I should have done that. I should have done that. God damn it. I was trying to figure out if I should have just told her not to take the money or not. I was so concerned. Um, Alex didn't sit on the edge of the dock. Uh, Alex left the... 
mess for later. Shit, I actually forgot to do a lot of this shit in the house. Kind of figured. Uh, didn't didn't look at the dartboard. Uh, she chose by Alexandra. Well, of course people would choose that. I, I'm not a, you know, forget it. And didn't sit at the table on the rooftop. I should have. That would have been the first option. Alex backed Ryan's claim at the wake. Alex offered Ryan Gabe's forgiveness, which I actually did. Um, shook his hand. I should have hugged him. Forget it. Um, Steph claimed the title. Should have let her. Reasonable option anyway. Um, made a Damn, they would have chose Stormrider? Shit. Alex didn't help the bird watcher. Oh, is that why that was happening? Oh, I didn't know that. Man. I didn't know that was the thing I was supposed to do. I was trying to interact with them. They didn't do a goddamn thing. How was I supposed to know? You know what? Whatever. <sighs> Let's just move on to the next chapter. Damn it! How did I not know that? How did I not know that? Fuck! Chapter three, monsters or mortal, or monster or mortal. <laughs> I was paying attention. Step. What's good? Uh. You have a superpower. You're both fucking with me, right? Oh, you told her? Damn! Uh, uh, not fucking with you. Do Ryan and I look like the fucking with you type? It's all true. Fine. Then tell me what I'm feeling right now. You're feeling disbelief. <laughs> You're actually a little annoyed you feel hurt that we didn't tell you until now whether it's true or not you don't like being left out well okay oh shit the foosball game you knew exactly what to do Um. <laughs> sorry, I, I could. Yeah, sorry. Being around memories of Gabe was making you so sad. I wanted to help. You did. I'm just surprised. Never thought I'd have a freaky empath friend. Pretty wild. So. Any sign of Diane today? No. No. But she was in yesterday working on her laptop. You said she was afraid of something around Gabe's death. If she's covering up what Typhon did, I bet there's proof. I hope so. If she comes in today, let's be ready with a plan. In the meantime, I've got to finish my shift. We're on it. By the way, nice shirt. Time Alex. to earn a paycheck. I should clean the dirty dishes around the bar. Might want to. How do these bird washing contests even work? Who's checking? I'll help her later, because that's going to be a side mission I'm going to do. Oh, Eleanor! Hi! 
this is unexpected to see you here. Uh, but yeah, let's go clean up the dirty. Dirty dishes. What a shame. Typhoon flyer. Hmm. <sighs> Damn. This is so upsetting. Mine flyer. Not to be a single issue voter or anything, but fuck Typhon. Seriously. Hey, Ducky. Uh, I'll deal with you in a minute. Hey, Charlotte. Uh, let so, me. I started dusting daylight while you were at work. Plague, dirty dishes. Here we go. Come and clean them. Let's go bring them over. Uh, I need to bring them over to the kitchen. Oh, there's Diane. Shit. <sighs> Welcome. I'll be right with you. Yep, I'm coming over now. I need to come up with a plan. I better check in with Stefan Ryan. Might want to. What's good? Okay, she's here. What's the plan? Well, we have two plans, actually. But we're still workshopping them. That eh, two's a good sign. Good to have options, right? So what are they? Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I asked Diane out on a date. Wait, what? And Wait, she's what? so <laughs> into it. She doesn't notice one Ryan Lucan swiping her left. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm ending this here. No way she just said that shit. No way she just said that shit. I'm sorry, no. You got me fucked up. What makes you think in a million years? <laughs> Steph, that's not going to work. Hello? Do you have any common sense? <sighs> I give up with this girl. I really do. There's no way she's being serious here, right? Fuck's sake. <sighs> I'm, I'm gonna leave it here. Fuck this shit. I'll see y'all, okay? <sighs> Anyways, said, <sighs> out.